Today's video is a little exciting for me because MHD just dropped a new update for the version 10. I'm excited because they have a bunch of new goodies for the car, for the M54 platform, and that means that we get to play around with the car a little bit. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to update your MHD, how to update a tune to your MHD, and if you don't know how to tune your car, this is the right video for you, so stay tuned. So following the new update, MHD has a lot to offer now for the M54 platform. So what they're offering is Canvas IO, Reflex in Integration, Flex Fuel, Custom Boost Control, Anti-Lag, and Map Switch. I like how they put the gauntlet on. If you guys know what brake boosting is, Anti-Lag is the better version of that because when you brake boost, you're essentially destroying your brakes. You don't wanna do that because you're ruining the, the life of your brakes quicker than it should be. So Anti-Lag, is the better version of brake boosting. Map switching gives you the option to switch between maps. Some people that I know that have their cars tuned have different maps. So they have stage one map, stage two, and then they have their kill map. So MHD is offering you the chance to switch maps while driving, which is, I think is awesome. JB4 allows that. So I'm not sure why AMHD had not done that sooner for M54, but I'm glad that they did it now. Flex fuel is being offered as well. I think they already did it though, but I'm not sure how the new flex fuel is gonna work. My understanding of flex fuel is that you can run a mix of E85 and 91 in your car and have your car run comfortably with the MHD off the shelf tune. For map switching, MHD is offering something similar to JB4 where you press down your volume down and your channel down and it will give you the option to switch in between maps. I think that's awesome because sometimes you just want to cruise in your regular map or your you know stage zero map and then when you're down to come down and go to mexico you want to switch your kill map so i think that's very cool that mhd is offering that for the m54 platform before you begin tuning you have to put your car in accessory mode then you would go to your your start button press once and twice and then once you see all those lights that's when you know you're in accessory mode once in accessory mode you want to go ahead and make sure that you connect it to your to your door adapter so i like to go on to data logging I like to click data logging. It says connecting to the DM. Once it's connected, it's gonna tell me all my gauges. That's how I know it's connected. So we're gonna go to tune, flash image, flash MHD map. We're gonna go to version 10. So I'm on a stage one plus with front mounted intercooler. You wanna click on that. Options. So the options is where it gives you your active anti-lag and then your boost target for anti-lag. Last time it was at seven. Now I'm gonna bump it up to 15 and we'll see how it goes. To activate the anti-lag is giving you the allow wheel buttons only, allow cruise control only. The wheel button would be what you usually use to lower the volume and the cruise control would be the cruise control handle behind the steering wheel. I'm gonna do the wheel button only. General, apply linear throttle mapping, adjust throttle lag, adjust vehicle idle. I don't like to touch any of that because I really don't know what it does, but for exhaust setup, I'm on stock down pipes, so we're gonna put stock down pipes. We're gonna go down to duration base, duration sport. So basically what it's saying is your exhaust bubble duration. On sports at 2.5, duration 2.5, and that's perfect. Aggressiveness, we're gonna leave it at hard. Minimal RPM, so basically when you downshift to 3000, you would hear your burbles loud enough. You have the option to reduce your cold start noise, especially if your car has an exhaust, I know the cold starts are brutal, so you don't want all that noise for your neighbors. You could do that auto. T-map sensors, ignition coils, ADV. Your ignition coils would be like aftermarket, beamer life, precision raised. Advanced targeting would be coolant target, port injection if you have it. Turbo gauge rattle is fixed. On N54, turbo wastegate rattle is a big problem. I hear a lot of owners saying that the turbos are going out and their wastegate rattle is really loud. I personally have wastegate rattle. I don't mind it. It gets a little annoying at times, but it doesn't affect the performance of my car. So once you're okay with everything that you did, now you're gonna go back and you're gonna go to map right. So it's connecting to the DME, it's connected. So from now, it will tell you how long it's gonna take to flash the ECU. So it's erasing section one and it's giving you the percentage. So mine's gonna take one minute to flash. One thing to note that when you are tuning the car, there's gonna be a lot of sensors that turn on. The first time I tuned my car, I thought I broke my car. I thought it was over with. But I let the tuning go. I let it end. And all the codes that came up erased by themselves and nothing was wrong. So luckily, it's a part of it. Okay, so my car just got done tuning. As you can hear, one of the sensors just turned on. But all do erase 
from your dashboard. It says braking and driving, brake malfunction, but it's not on there. The service engine will go off to so it says success, turn off ignition and wait 30 seconds. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So the timer just went off, 30 seconds are done. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn the car on. I like to take it on a test drive to make sure that everything went smooth and nothing is wrong. I like to see that no sensors come up or anything. So I'm gonna take you guys on a test drive. I'm gonna show you how the anti-lag works and I'm gonna show you how the burble sounds. So I just gotta let it warm up for a bit because you know, when N54s are tuned, you need to let them warm up. All right, so at this point, I'm in my car. We're rolling. My temperature on my car is pretty warm, so it's suitable to do at least one run. What you want to do to activate your rolling anti-lag, you want to hold down your DTC all the way until that signal comes on. Then you're going to want to hold down your volume down, and you're going to ease into it with the pedal, and you should see it sending you. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We're gonna try it again in manual mode. I'm gonna hold down the volume down, I'm gonna ease into it. And you can see, boost is kicking in. I can't go the full way because there is traffic, but as you can see on the monitoring, it is giving me full boost. I set the boost for 10 PSI, and it did give me the 10 PSI. It's literally like a one, two, quick, one, two seconds and you let go of your volume down button, or if you're using your cruise control button for the rolling anti-lights to go into play. And with that, we close off the blog. We talked about all the new things that MHD offers. We talked about how to tune your car through the MHD app. We talked about how anti-lag works. I showed you guys how to turn on your anti-lag while driving. We talked about the major things that MHD has to offer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment and as always, stay tuned for the next videos.